So today we're going to take a look at a painting by Salvador Dali. It's called Metamorphosis of Narcissus. Painted in 1937, 20 inches high, 30 inches wide, oil on canvas. Let's take a look. What a painting! But of course, the paint isn't really a thing in this one. My thing is paint and expressing oneself with it, but Dali doesn't give a damn about that. That's just not what he does. What he did do, however, is use his extraordinary skill at using paint in a particular way to give his paintings that kind of super real quality, which is the thing that, when I first saw this painting, I just found amazing. You see, I wanted to take a look at this painting because it was one of the two paintings I remembered from the first time I was taken to the Tate Gallery. This was back in the mid-1980s. I was 14 and remember back then there were no mobile phones, home computers were a brand new thing and the idea of rendering realistic graphics just didn't really exist. So seeing something like this that was painted with paint and brushes, it just blew my mind. I just thought it was fantastic and that's how I wanted to paint. So I went home and started painting my own dollies, as you would. Even today, whenever I go to the Tate Modern where it currently is, I always take another look. It's actually quite a small painting, but because of its technique and the detail he fills it with, it gives the impression of being much larger than it actually is. And the detail I love the most are the ants whose legs are so tiny, so thin, they must have been painted with single hair brushes, can you imagine? It's a great feat of creation and a great feat of technique. All the expression, however, is rooted in the image rather than the paint, of course, making this more of an imaging, if you like, rather than a painting, but an image nevertheless of great delight. I love it. 